Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a Free Spirit reading for the overall weekly reading for the second week of May. So we're going into May 9th and we're going to tap into six decks and first I'm going to share with you the spirit messages that I've been getting for the last couple of days. That's why I have wanted to do this reading sooner actually because I kept on getting a lot of things. So the first thing, it almost makes me feel like a philosophical vibe to be honest with you. It's um. That I was getting over and over and over shaping, reshaping, and letting go. And that it keeps doing that shaping, reshaping, letting go, shaping, reshaping, letting go. Um, this is on the big stage, small stage. So you're feeling that inside shaping, reshaping, letting go. Then on the outside, real aspects of your life, shaping, reshaping, letting go. And there's almost like a process in that. Um, and you could be also finding, they were showing me balls in the air, like so much is up in the air and you're uh, looking at these balls and you're trying to lay on these balls, you're trying to handle these balls, but how can you handle when so much is up in the air, but you can trust and have faith that when the balls come down, you'll have a, full, a firm grip on them. They're showing me like balls in the air and finally you'll ha you will have a firm grip. You don't have to worry about it. So... Um, there's a lot that's still changing and you could be really finding that at this time and just like I said shaping reshaping letting go so and after letting go it's also making peace with the shaping reshaping letting go uh, so that's like a whole process and it almost was showing me also when a caterpillar changes into a butterfly it's like the caterpillar is letting go and everything is getting reshaped and it will emerge as a butterfly in a sense also it was all all those three images are all depicting in a certain way not just the changes and the transformation but actually the process and what it feels like and to have more compassion for yourself in the process because things are shaping reshaping and letting go um but to ha almost have trust and faith in that process and to go really easy on yourself. Real divine self-care has come up a gazillion times, even in the comments. You might be, um, just this week, I was sharing on the comments that I felt like when um, they had me write down, when you encounter, when you feel like you're encountering black holes, in a sense, like all your efforts are in vain, or you're feeling frustrated, depleting, to actively bring in more sunshine. So whatever that means to you, whether it's doing something uplifting, or literally changing your viewpoint or perspective of things, um, proactively doing things for you. They were encouraging me to do that as well, to actively bring in more sunshine. So much so that they had me take a personal day off, which I never do from work. And yeah, it was providing sunshine for myself. So that's the vibe that I've been getting for this time. So, and it was really interesting too. And I'll just add one more thing. You know, I have six decks here. The one thing that I realized too was well, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that because we all have personal things that that means. And I'm not going to cloud it with so many personal examples. So let's get into the cards for the second week of May. For May 9th, we're going to tap into the Archangels for messages for the journey. I'm so curious what's going to come out after those messages. Um, the energy we're dealing with at this time, the guidance uh, to to keep in our minds and hearts. We're gonna tap into what to surrender to make it easier. We're gonna end it with messages from heaven, loved ones passed on our spirit guides and the guardian angels. So let's just clear out, definitely pay attention to your own intuition beyond mine. What I also realized too, and it came out in the comments, sometimes we don't realize or the reading means one thing when we're taking it in for the first time, but then as things happen, it's like the cards mean something else. Or the cards, you start reflecting on a card because it just has more meaning to you later on. I find that happening a lot. Um, also, I don't always mention the beginning of my messages, but always look at the first pinned comment on all my videos because I always look up the length of the video after I post it to find the angel number message and I pin it to the comments and it always is further support or confirmation of what just came out. It's usually further support. Like it's in, it, it basically says everything that came out in the cards and then more support. Okay, so let's get into it. They're ready already. Okay, so for the second week of May, which would be best to know for the journey? This is for all of us. What would you like us to know for the journey? What would benefit us the most? Oh my gosh. 
You cannot make this up. What flew up in the air is change your life. Everything when I was talking about, shaping, reshaping, letting go, these are change your life as the major arcana. This is normally the tower for more, for, I know people like when I say what the correlation is, it's the tower. These, this is why they were having me say all those analogies in the beginning. These are literally change your life moments that are happening. And some of this is by choice and most of it is not. And it's shaping, reshaping and letting go. And it's the process. What they're talking about is having, I know this is just a card and people have meanings for this card, but beyond that, there is a process of this card and to have more compassion and kindness as we are in the process of this card. That's what I want to say. And that's what they were trying to bring forth also. So it is a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination and embrace the changes that change brings. But the process of that, there are a lot of sudden changes, things have been knocked down to be built up again. Um, you could break free of things, have sudden revelations, see the illumination around his mind. You could almost in the process, get a new awareness or perspective or something in the process of this card that's giving you more freedom in the midst of change. You could also break free of procrast procrastination, which I'm not really getting from this card, but embrace the opportunities that change brings. Yes, but what a what a process that is because you first have to embrace the cha opportunities that change brings. It's almost like bring peace to the old has gone away or things are being shaped and reshaped. So there's a lot. What I'm getting from this card, yes, these are change your life moments and we're in the process of this change your life moments, but have more compassion for yourself in this card because you're in this card have more compassion um and how you're even looking at the changes in your life and the changes of what's going on and definitely definitely embrace the new opportunities after even or during that process of that change but we're definitely this is change your life so there's a lot of changes here happening and they're saying to have more compassion Trust and faith even through the process of change and, and being there for yourself. Um, definitely embrace the opportunities that change brings. But it's almost like when this happens, you're you're not quite even aware of what the changes are that are going to come in its place. That's what they're bringing. That's the kind of thing. So you could be, see the illumination around this head? You could be really philosophical at this time because we're, we're still in the process of accepting this change, getting in the shape of embracing the changes, the opportunities that change even brings. There's a lot going on internally and externally. If you look at this card, a lot going on internally and externally. That's all that they're really bringing to my attention, even more so than just the typical meaning. So be on your own side uh, with these change your life moments. And you could be getting sudden revelation suddenly, like I said, kind of philosophical or aha moments or clarity or like shaping and reshaping and letting go even within you so that you're in a better position, even facing and dealing with the changes, with all these changes. Um, so it's changes inside and out. That's what, yeah, so what? Another major arcana to get a move on them. So it's like, yes, these changes have happened. So it's like shaping, reshaping, letting go. And so you can move on. So you may be having revelations or awarenesses through these change your life moments that has you all of a sudden swiftly moving in almost new directions. Like the seven is divine also. It's like a line divine action. So almost trusting that whatever moves you're making now past this, it's divine. That's been a recurring message that you're on a divine path. And a lot of the times then we start to doubt it because we were envisioning this that has just changed, been reshaped. So that's what they're giving me. So here it's determination, yeah, self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. But this is determination and self-control. See the illumination that you're moving beyond this, that you're going with the changes, you're going in that self-control determination um, to embrace the changes that embrace the opportunities that change brings. I almost don't have the words. So this is like almost a feeling and a momentum that these are change your life moments. And then you're moving, you're moving on, uh, basically with determination and self-control for advancement to 
on the other side of that. So the process in which that takes is what they're telling me. It's like the process of what that really takes inside and out is a process. Um, and then you're moving you're moving on and you're probably moving on with more determination, more self-control for more advancement. And like they had said, they're really helping us with advancements in the physical, very practically to feel that um, we're signs, symbols, messages and the outside and also directly. And that's why I feel there's all this illumination here because there is a part of yourself, your higher self that is connected and understands that. Um, and then here, look at this, it's six of Ariel. So there is a give and take happening here. So, and it, oh, six also reminds me of um, a loving, giving and receiving kind of energy. And so here they're saying material needs do get fulfilled in magical ways. Almost like that trust and faith that as you move determined for success after these change your life moments, that your material needs will be fulfilled. That's what they're asking you to trust um, through this process. And yeah, in unexpected ways, we've been getting, expect the unexpected, like what's gonna come meet you on the other side? You don't know, just like those balls in the air, but rest assured when they fall down, you will get a firm grip on them. Oh my God, they're balls in the air. See how they're balls in the air? So anyway, I'm just saying, and there's illumination over every single head here. It's like you do know this, that you keep it moving with determination for success, that your material needs are going to be met. And there's a trust and faith in that is what I want to say beyond this card. This is the Six of Pentacles, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. That's how they want you to be through this time for yourself and others. And I also feel like your trust and have faith that as you move forward, your material needs will be fulfilled, honestly. And what a process that is. <laughs> through these change and to keep moving like that and keep moving with a with a heart like that of giving and receiving with a grateful heart and material needs will be um fulfilled in magical ways unexpected ways it has been a recurring message but also maintain that giving kind heart now we're getting yeah because look at that wishes are fulfilled that is the movement and that is the trust that i want to say this is really the nine of cups your hopes and dreams and wishes and it may have looked like one thing, honestly. It's being shaped and reshaped. And they're saying you're going for what you're holding in your heart for hearts, hopes, dreams, wishes. Yes, make a wish. Dreams are becoming a reality, a joyful time of life. Whatever you're rubbing your metaphorical genie for, um, going for those hopes, dreams, wishes, your material needs are going to be fulfilled. This is a lot of change your life moments and making the moves with determination and almost faith, I would say, and, and faithful, giving, receiving heart. It will lead to your hopes and wishes. It's going to lead in magical, unexpected ways. This is what they want to say. So these are two major arcanas. Almost trust this movement through the changes. Trust moving through them with determination and control and keep moving forward for success. Your hopes, wishes, dreams keep moving in that direction because you're getting unexpected help has been a recurring message, assistance, and even internally, um, you're getting assisted through the changes. That's what I want to say, assistance through the changes. I might even name it that because that encompasses everything that they're trying to give me inside and out, like being on these parts. What is the energy that we're dealing with? Okay, so one fell out here. Yeah, temple path, a reminder, a reminder, assistance through the changes and assistance on your path. That's been a recurring message. If you didn't see the spirit pick me up reading, we had on divine path was the number one message. They want you to know, yes, there have been change your life moments. Things have literally gone, changed, reshaped, let go, you know, gone. Um, to keep moving determined with self-control forward divinely, material needs will be fulfilled and also keep a loving, grace, grateful heart, giving and receiving heart, going for your hopes, dreams, wishes. There is assistance with the steps, your assistance on your divine path. All these lights are your spirit guides and loved ones passed on. And they kept on giving me, it doesn't matter if it feels everything, everything in your life went left, right, upside down, destroyed, no longer, whatever it is that has been shaped, reshaped inside and out, it, it, you are on divine path and you have assistance. You literally have assistance. And that's what I meant by you're getting signs, symbols, messages, you're getting direct guidance, you're getting that assistance um, 
actually getting assistance through the changes as you go for your hopes, dreams, wishes, and for your material needs being fulfilled, you definitely have assistance. I mean, that's literally what they're saying. So let's see what is the guidance during this time. Assistance through the changes. Assistance as you keep going forward. And it is this determination. I can't tell you, you know, oh, I don't want to go off tangent. There's so many things I can say. I don't want to go off tangent. Let me just get the guidance here. Let's get the guidance that they want. You could be having a lot of epiphanies and awarenesses, and as these changes are happening, it's almost like new sight in a way of things or new understanding of things, and then it helps you to have peace with the changes, to be honest with you. It's a, like I said, like a caterpillar going into a butterfly, the things that you have to make peace with and let go as all these changes are happening on the inside and outside. It's, it's, yeah, okay, so we're getting, yeah, Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. I would say, look, the ball is in your hand. The world is in your hands. Focus on the things that you want, but also you're being used to make the world better. This is my card for that. This is Mother Earth, and you're called upon to help with environmentalism, which means making things better. You know, whatever you're wishing for and everything else is also part of, like, making things better in the world in some way. So whatever you're doing and focused on, it's about you have the whole world like in your sights you have like um you're being called upon right now what you're working on what's in your hands to do is to make the world better in some way that's my term that's my card for that so it's like your hopes and wishes and dreams are aligned with like the what would make the world better also in a sense like your work your efforts or what you're doing in the physical for your work or personal yeah cycles and rhythms pay attention um they said honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions what did i say if you're facing black holes to actively bring in more sunlight pay attention to what you're actually feeling we got that in the spirit pick me up reading also they were like pay attention to what's shifting your energy pay attention to how you feel during the day write out that cycle do you need to bring in more sunshine whatever that means to you do you need to rest do you need to relax do you need more fun honor the cycles and have more kindness and compassion for yourself as you're writing the outer cycle of this because the outer cycle of all this change and all of this going on is affecting our and it's all energy we pick up the energy of the world we're riding all of this you want to stay balanced and centered and light and honor the cycles of your body your energy levels and emotions so whatever you need and also be kind to yourself on wherever you're at with your emotions with your energy you want to ride that tide you don't want to go against yourself and against what you're actually feeling you know if you need a rest if you need a personal day you need to sleep <laughs> you need to tune in and uplift yourself if you need you know whatever you do okay so you have permission here's the um what to surrender to make it easier through the cycle and rhythms and this is outer cycle and rhythm and inner cycle of rhythm so what can we surrender to make it easier during this time of change with assistance through the changes surrender the drama yeah talk about letting go surrendering the drama no matter how emotionally charged the situation remain calm and don't contribute to the drama staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly yeah surrender the drama we literally had surrender the drama Literally those words come out in the spirit, pick me up reading, surrender the drama. They're helping you to do that as part of the process of all this change, to surrender the drama of it. Even on the, they said, pay attention to your energy, your emotions, the drama and energy of things that you've absorbed, get it out, surrender the drama. And you could be having real epiphanies and real making peace with things so that you can surrender the drama. Like I said, these aren't just words, it is a process. So. Oh gosh, the wind is howling outside right now. Okay, we have one more surrender card. Yeah, yeah, surrender the drama. How interesting. Oh my God, they made me chase it. Look at the difference of these cards. Surrender the drama and surrender to joy. That's how they want our spirit. This transition, um, what a process. A key to a positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. They were. That's why the Six of Ariel had double meaning during both the hard and easy times and keep surrendering to more joy every time there's drama every time you're affected you're feeling emotions they're helping you in the process to surrender back to joy what a process that is i just want to say um, but that is the process of honoring your cycles and rhythms on the inside understanding when something's affecting your energy and shifting back to joy
I mean, that's a process in itself, but they're helping us to do that. And we have assistance through the changes and keep going for your hopes and dreams and the movements that it's taking, you're, you are on divine path, it's recurring. So there is a reassurance when they keep on saying on temple path, on divine path, that no matter what the changes were, no matter what the changes were, to keep going forward, knowing that you are still on your divine temple path, going for hopes and dreams. And there may have been shifts with this all around the way. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot, you know, that's affected us. And so the inside process is, is they're helping us with as well. Um, so let's get the messages from heaven. Yeah, okay, right away. You can't make this up. Give yourself time. Be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. Yeah, this is the pro We've gone through a lot here. Um, that's what they're talking about. Take real divine self-care for yourself. Take the time for yourself. Honoring the cycles, the emotions, the changes that you've been through. You can take divine time for yourself. Give yourself time. Be kind to yourself. That's what they're talking about, this compassion for yourself. Be heal in your own way. Yeah, and we're getting, yeah, you can't make this up. This is reminding me of this card, the double meaning they had. We're hoping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. Yes, on your path. See the temple path, the lights here as he makes, you deserve a little luck your way. You deserve it. We're going to bring some luck. You have assistance on your path. That's your spirit guides. Loved ones passed on. We're hoping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. Like they said, your material needs will get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. They're looking at you with a giving, receiving heart. That's what I'm getting from that card, actually. And they're going to bring some luck your way. You deserve it. They're with you on your path. They're with you through the changes. They're going to help you bring some luck within. And the number second message is really give yourself time to go through that process of shaping, reshaping, letting go through all these changes. Be on your own side. We have assistance through these changes and going for our hopes and dreams, for things to be fulfilled in the material. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're getting two more. We have, yeah, trust, love, and appreciate yourself and show respect for you. So do you see how much is about real divine self-care in a sense? Give yourself time, heal in your own way. Trust, love, and appreciate yourself. Show respect for you through the process of change, everything that you're going through in this process. And look at this. We're proud of you and aware of your achievements. There's your love. There's your support. There's your backing. There's your feedback. And, you know, we're proud of you and aware of your achievements. Everything that you've been doing on your temple path as you go forward, determined, going for your material needs being fulfilled, going through all these changes, going for your hopes and dreams, going for your hopes and dreams. And they may have shifted. They may have really changed. They really may have been shaped and reshaped. Um, but they're saying they're with you through this whole entire process. And not only that, but they're aware of all that you've been doing. And that's been a recurring message. We're aware of your achievements. So, you know, that can mean everything. So let's get uh, ended with guardian angel messages. This is assistance through the changes, assistance for your hopes, dreams, wishes, assistance for material needs being fulfilled. This is saying we're proud of you and your achievements. This is even understanding the process and the toll it's been taken out of you. So every time you can, surrender the drama, surrender back to joy. Surrender the drama of all these changes. Surrender the drama of, you know, so much change. And uh, show, they're helping you to see, respect yourself. Trust, love, and respect yourself. And they're even hoping to bring a little luck your way on your tumble path. Breakthrough. Look at that breakthrough. And we had, that's change your life. It was also breakthroughs here as you move forward. Breakthrough. Yeah. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your own dreams? This is your dreams. It is time to break free. This is the break free, and this is the movement, and this is your temple path. I mean, you can't make this up, right? And this is your needs being fulfilled. But it is breaking free of all of that, okay? So how many heartfelt wishes, beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? And how many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is a time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. So this is the change and the movement 
And for your hopes and dreams, there could be a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of changes. It may not even be what you planned. They're also saying something about like, we're proud and aware of your achievements. Even if society or the world here, beautiful wishes are crushed by fear. It's crushed by society's voice of disapproval, casting a shadow on your dreams. They're here for your dreams. You can break free of false beliefs. You can realize your dreams, allow your heart to guide you and trust your inner guidance. The time is right. Just like that illumination. So the path may have shifted. It may have changed. The things you're working on may have changed, but you're still on divine path, being guided to your hopes, dreams, wishes. You don't even need society's approval for this. You don't need another person's approval. You have theirs. They're proud of your achievements. They're with you every step of the way on your divine path for your hopes, wishes, dreams. They're helping you to stay determined and in the movement for them no matter what it may look like to you with through the process of change they're looking at you as a loving giving kind heart but that also your material needs will be fulfilled in magical ways unexpected ways on your divine path that's the recurring message that came out in another reading the process itself honor your cycles your rhythms your energy levels take time out when you need to shift from you know, surrendering drama, surrendering back to joy. Take time to heal yourself if you need more time off. Everything has affected our energy levels, everything. Everything has affected us. They're proud of you and your achievements. I want to get some more guardian angel messages. But this is definitely assistance with the steps for your hopes and dreams. Uh, assistance through the changes. Assistance through the process. Even through the process of change, of the changes. Um... And beyond what I say, you could be really feeling this very profoundly in your day to day that it's they're assisting you with these changes in your life and uh, the changes in the process of, of yeah, just the assistance here. So let's get some more, um, end up with one more guardian angel messages. There could be a lot of breakthroughs, like I said, shaping, reshaping, letting go. It's a lot of breakthroughs or getting throughs of things. So let's see, breakthroughs and changes. Yeah, eternity. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have chills now. Okay, eternity. Gently move your awareness from the external, or external world to a world of light within your heart. Allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Eternity exists within you, forever sparkling like a diamond. You are, in essence, a shining star, forever transforming to ever greater light. And that's what they want you to know. That's what they want you to know. As you're on your divine path, that's what they want you to know. It's interesting how so many cards were about shift from the external world and back to yourself, back to your connection, back to knowing that you're on divine path, back to your essence almost. Um, there's so much going on, shaping, reshaping, inside and out. Like I said, like in the process, we're getting the last one, a prayer. Dear guardian angel, to you I pray. When I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. And when I feel lonely, help me to feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, help me to see the order. Thank you. And that is it. That's what they're helping us with through the changes, the process of which, like, let me see the order. Let me see that what I'm connected to. Let me see that I'm still on right on divine path. Even though everything I was looking at may have shifted. Even if everything I was going for may have shifted. We are proud of you and your achievements. They're helping you through... The ch not just the changes, but the process of all the change. To keep moving forward, determined for your hopes, dreams, wishes, because there will be breakthroughs. Material needs will be fulfilled in magical ways. You are on a divine path. You have love assistance all around. <clears throat> My voice is giving out, but through the process, the cycles and rhythms of this, they're helping us to surrender drama, surrender back to joy, to surrender back to what you're connected to, to yourself. See all the illumination? It's what's getting us through all the changes in the process thereof. You may even want to take some more time, quite literally, to take time of, for yourself. Trust, love, and appreciate yourself. This is a lot of real divine self-care and real divine compassion through these times of change. Why? Probably so you continue moving very in a self controlled aligned way for your hopes dreams wishes and keep moving in that fashion because you're linked with that for eternity and so they're providing you with like um breakthroughs epiphanies and ways of to even get through the process of change the change your life moments and all of that so 
What can I leave you with with this? Yes, there are a lot of change in your life moments. They're helping to bring a little luck on your way. You deserve it. They're proud of you and your achievements. Every step of the way of your divine path, you have love, assistance, backing that you're getting quite literally. This is a lot of real divine self-care. Keep surrendering drama back to joy. Your material needs are going to be fulfilled in magical ways as you keep moving illuminated and aligned for your hopes, dreams, wishes, and what you're linked to and almost like surrendering everything else that is not connected to this. What a process on the inside and what we're going through these change your life moments. We have assistance through the changes, assistance through all the changes and a lot of love support backing to even get through them and keep moving in the direction we're supposed to be moving in, even with the heart that we're supposed to be moving with. It's a lot. I almost don't have the words. I hope you're getting it. I know you're feeling it, whether you have words for it or not. This is assistance through all the changes inside and out. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.